Have any of you guys ever used these like washing machine pod things? So interesting, they're like gel, and I wanna like, I just wanna like, <laughs> I don't know, I'm, I'm weird. Here's my daily motivation, make cool videos, and a little smiley face for fun. Not sure why I went from lowercase to uppercase. It, it, you know, we tried. So I wanna show you guys the difference uh, between a night physique and a morning physique. Again, I don't show, this too often, but this is at nighttime. It is 10.34. I've already had dinner and a full day of food. I'm done eating for today. But at my leanest, like, this is what I can look like. Right there. And then we'll see what I look like in the morning. So I'll talk to you then. Bye. Are you going to snap there? All right. Bah! Morning time. Besides my hair, looking a little leaner. So there's the difference in... You know, morning time tonight. So we need to head to the bank. Luckily, BB&T stays open uh, a little later. Hey, if you're watching this video, I hope you have a good day. You know, because if you guys are taking time out of your day, I really do appreciate that. I'm not having the best day. Had some struggles last night with the, putting the computer together. Um, I'm gonna compile all that footage and put it at the end of this video. So if you're into the nerd stuff like me, then you can check that out. If you don't care about that, then you know you, don't, you can just watch the rest of the video. But we need to head to the bank, so we're gonna go do that right meow. Am I saying meow? So step one of preparing for the next Ever4 launch is to pay for the shirt. So that is why we are at this huge BB&T and we're gonna do that now. So as quickly as we went into the bank, we had to leave the bank. There's not anyone available to do the wire transformer transfer for me today. So we'll have to do that at a different branch or another day, I'll figure that out. Um, I'll keep you guys posted on that. So we are headed to the gym right now. And I think I might be one of the only fitness channels that lives, I don't, actually I don't live in the city. I work in the city. I go to the gym in the city, but uh, no one else literally has the city environment, I think. I don't know, I could be wrong. But I can take anything and I can make it cool because we live in the city and there's cars and there's buildings and there's traffic. So let's go to the gym, but we'll do like super slick and smooth. We'll throw some music on it because that's just what we do, right? <laughs> All right, and here we go. Have you ever Bell. Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Hey, we're there. Was that cool? Probably not. I don't know. <laughs> So today is dynamic upper, and I know you guys don't want to see me I'll do a whole bunch of sets of three of 225 pounds. So we're just going to show you real fast. So something that I never really do anymore is the overhead press. And I know I get questions on this all the time, and the reasoning behind it is as I have done my training over the past year, I've realized that um, I work out my front delts a whole lot. I mean, everyone, if you do a lot of pressing, like a bench press, which I do a whole lot of, you're gonna work your front delts a ton. So I just don't do a lot of overhead pressing because I don't find it as necessary. And uh, Simon and Garrett made a great point in one of their videos uh, where they mentioned that if you are trying to use the overhead press to increase your bench press, generally, if you have not made significant progress in your overhead press, if you're at a point where you know you, it's hard for you to go up five, 10 pounds in a long span like it is mine, it's really not gonna have that amazing of carry. But I still like to incorporate a little bit. I still do work my shoulders. So I do a lot of lateral raises and a lot of reverse flies. But in terms of overhead pressing, I just don't do that much. We're gonna do some today. We're gonna start out with, a, we're gonna try to do a five by five. We're gonna start with 135. We'll see how we feel. All right, so we're actually gonna move it up to 145 pounds. I threw some fives on the end. 
And um, we're still gonna go for five out of five. One of the biggest tips I can tell you when you do the overhead press is squeeze those glutes. You won't think about it unless you know to think about it and do it. But if you tighten up that ass, it's really gonna help keep you stable. So one of my favorite movements to do on any sort of pushing day is gonna be the narrow grip or close grip, whatever you call it, dumbbell press. So you're just gonna take weight, whatever weight you can do. I generally do sets of about 12 to 15, sometimes even up to 20 depending on what day it is um, or how I'm feeling at the time. We're using 70 pound dumbbells right now for sets of 12. So the normal chest press is gonna be like this with your elbows you know, still tucked but a little more flared out to work on your chest. So for this, all you're gonna do is just tuck your elbows a lot more. And that's gonna put a lot more emphasis on the triceps. So it's a great way to get volume in for your triceps and to get volume in for your chest at the same time. But you're gonna put more emphasis likely on the tricep. And because that is the weakest point in my pressing movements as it is on most people. So that is one of my absolute favorites. I'm relatively new to it. I haven't done it that long, but I love it. So now we are gonna do some side lateral raises. Don't know why I say that, side lateral. Just sounds good. We're doing some lateral raises, lateral, with 25 pound dumbbells. I generally do this from form breakdown. I'll probably lower the weight once that starts to happen, maybe down to 20s. But generally you wanna have your elbow higher than your wrist. That's what you're supposed to do. That doesn't always happen for me. I preach it to you guys. You should always try it at the best form ever. But we all know that sometimes you have form breakdown and uh, when you overload the muscle with heavier weight, generally you're gonna have some form breakdown. So it's not the end of the world, but you should be focusing on that and trying to keep the elbow up. So the best tip I can give you for reverse flies is to act like you're doing a double bicep pose and you're pulling it. So you wanna pull it into a bicep pose. Into the bicep pose. So everyone in the gym can see how small your arms are. Hold on. Windy out here, napkins, ha <laughs> So hopefully you can hear me. I'm at Jimmy John's, got a veto. I'm gonna eat this outside because it's a really nice day. Uh, wanted to briefly talk to you guys since we're on topic of food. You know, what am I doing with my diet? What am I doing with my food? What are my calories? How much do I weigh? Um, so right now I weigh, at the lightest if I wake up, if I don't try to do anything, I'll, I'll weigh about 172 and a half, 172, 172 and a half. So right now my macros are 65 to 70 fat, 350 carb, and about 185-ish protein. Um, you guys can follow what I eat on my fitness pal, which is Max Tuning, same with all my social media accounts. Um, it's a public diary, so you can just see what I eat on a daily basis. I'd say 90% of the week I, tr I track it in that app. So right now I'm really enjoying how I feel, how I look, my weight, you know, my strength progress. And um, you know, I just am the type of person that enjoys doing things slow. <laughs> so that's why I don't do these crazy bulks ever, which you guys probably know about. Um, so I'll probably increase my calories a little bit, uh, maybe about 400 carb and maybe about 80 fat, or I might try maybe just upping my fat and keeping the carbs about 350. Um, I've come to learn that my body reacts quicker to carbs than anything else, as you know a lot of people do. So that's where I'm at right now, just to give you an update. I'm gonna crush this sandwich and continue on with my day. It's time to go. Do you guys remember when I got the uh, the monster from that 7-Eleven back there? I bought two, right? Drank one that day, came in the next day of the office, gone. There's a thief. This may not seem like a big accomplishment, but I have been waiting to get this spot in the parking garage for so long. It's like right in the corner, and I think it just looks so cool that I can pull out. I've literally, for the past four months, the spot's always taken. Not today. It's mine. Haha. <laughs> Until I have to leave later tonight. But 
then it'll be gone. So I'm extremely tired, so I'm gonna take a nap. Okay, let's get a nap. Now I'm hungry. So something that I did get back in stock is Protein Cookie Company, which I do work with. It's finally sent me a new restock. If you guys ever wanna try these, you can use my name, Max. Save yourself some money. I'm starving. I'm basically waiting on my other computer part to get in. There we go. I'm not really sure what to do with this cart, so for now I'm just gonna leave it there and I'll get it when I come back. So I didn't really think it through that there'd be a significant amount of traffic heading this way where I'm going. <laughs> Northern Virginia traffic is the best. You guys think you have the best traffic? We have the best traffic, it's the best. All right, so I'm at Peter's house, and you know he said he'd help me because he obviously is full nerd status. So this is—I don't even know if this is good. Is this good? It looks good. Looks looks expansive. Thank you. They're my recreational clothes. So this is, so this is the motherboard, I, I think. Right? That's motherboard. Yeah. Case so huge. So I might time lapse this, or just kind of show individual parts. Motherboard installed. Ooh, I thought that's was pop off. Oh, it's supposed to remove. Oh, there you go. So this is the gigantic cooler, which is huge. And this thing mounts on this little baby chip. So now we install the memory. So we have 16 gigs of memory going in there. All right, so now we have the backing plate in. We have the two memories. I realized before you don't put the memory, I just thought you stuck them in, but I looked up in the manual. So you want in the second slot and the fourth slot. There is the little thermal compound on there. Go for it. So what did your management tell you about the whole recording thing? More people complaining? So we have the fan mounted, or dual fans mounted. Still have to put this back fan back on. We're running all the wires now. We got the power supply in, but we're gonna take a break. I need some pizza. What's no macros, macros, all of them. So putting this PC together has definitely taken <laughs> longer than I imagined. And one thing I know, I, I, one thing I worried about filming, putting the PC together is because I knew there's gonna be A, people are gonna say you did this wrong, or B, one and two, but B, we're gonna say you could have done this. So for example, for the motherboard, when I say we had to take the motherboard off to get to that little bracket, um, yeah, apparently we could have just opened the back of the case up and put it right there. But you know what? We're new to this whole thing. Well, not them, they know what they're doing, I don't. But uh, right now we have the fan installed, we're installing this, the solid state drives, and then we have to install what, the graphics card? Yeah. Yeah! All right, so we think we have everything done right. Uh, now we're gonna install the graphics card. I think you just set it in there like this. I just set it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I know some people are gonna get mad at me. So we think we're done. Um, usually when you have a bunch of leftover cords and stuff, that's always good. But now we're gonna plug it in, plug it in like Glade, and <clears throat> we're gonna plug it into a monitor. We have to install the Windows 7 64-bit. I know a lot of y'all are like, why, why didn't you get 10 or why didn't you get eight? I just didn't, okay? That's what I get. I did. So, moment of truth. Wish me luck. Plug. I'm gonna probably try running one of Here's these. Here's the external. Oh my god. <laughs> that almost got me right there. Oh, got him. Do it. This, this is the button? Oh gosh. Just blew up. See that smoke? Can you chill? <laughs> no way. It mm, should, it should be DVI though. So it didn't work up on the power up, so we removed the video card, and now we're just gonna try to run it from the motherboard, see if that works. Okay, so we've been at this computer thingling for about four hours now, and we're getting no power to the TV. Um, we're on Periscope right now, and half of you are helping. The other half are just saying, like, throw potatoes at the computer. 
plug a potato into the memory stick, so you really aren't helping, so. <laughs> okay, so apparently there's a bent pin on this motherboard. I don't know if you guys can see this. This is zoomed in on the way, but right at the tip of my finger, there's a bent pin, and it's midnight, and this has taken forever. <laughs> so that is the problem. That's why it wasn't booting up, we think. So I went on Amazon support. This is why I really like buying things from Amazon is because the customer service is fantastic. Told them the issue. It is 12.30, 12.30, and I said I need this part replacement tomorrow. They're like, no problem. So they're overnighting it. I'll have a new one tomorrow, and then tomorrow night we're going to try again. So <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to continue this into the same video or make it a whole separate thing. I don't want to drag out this PC build, so I might just save this. So it might just be the next clip. El Guapo! It's not El Gua, it's just Guapos. All right, so round two. New motherboard is in. Everything's put together again. And when we hit play, we're gonna hope, or start, we're gonna hope that the, this comes up with a picture. Or else I'm literally going to how to basic this computer and smash it into oblivion. Oblivion! Uh -huh. All right, moment of truth. Power button, Mike. God. Oh, you gotta plug the switch. Oh my god, I literally was. You're about to uh, freak out, weren't you? Yeah, I was about to freak out. Hit it! There we go. What is 32? 32, 35, 46, 37. Are those throwing codes? Um, hit that. Throw them codes. Alright, so we got something. So now what? Do... Yeah, we in the piles now. Oh, kill them! What does this even mean? I don't know. All right, we're gonna overclock it right now and try to go for Sweet. five gigahertz. All right, so we put the operating system in. It's working. Oh my god, I'm like the happiest person ever. All right, so we're all done. Uh, I just need to install this fan back here. So all you guys are into computers. I'm sure you enjoyed this. Maybe I don't know. Uh, I got to put everything back together. Put the side back on. I'm gonna go home. It's like midnight, and then install all the programs. Download all the programs. Download my video game, which is Path of Exile, but <laughs> uh, it's cool. We'll see how fancy the computer is. I'm sure I'll keep you posted uh, throughout the time of me having it. If you have any questions, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Um, yeah.